everyone, welcome down to the channel and we are going to be talking about how to play the sexiest shot in golf. Now I am not talking about a 350 yard drive, even though they are lovely. I'm not talking about a wedge that spins back 30 yards from the back of the green, even though that's also amazing. I am talking about the low tragedy beauty of the Sting. And the first person I'm going to throw you over to is Zach Bradford over in the States to talk about that basic Stinger shot. What is up? Hope you all are having a great day. Thank you so much, Pete, for having me on the channel here today to teach y'all how to hit a stinger. I'm excited about this. Hopefully these tips can help you go out and hit a stinger with the best of them. I'm out here at Sweetens Cove, just north of Chattanooga, Tennessee. So cheers from Tennessee. We're just gonna jump right into it. Hopefully y'all can learn a few things to go stinging with the best of them. Alrighty, first off, you gotta select a club. I've got a four iron. Title is 712U. Yes, it's been hit a few times. This is what I used to sting it with. Now it's the five, five key steps up next after club selection. The first key step in hitting a quality stinger is ball position. I'm gonna place the ball about center of the stance. Kind of think about where you would hit a wedge shot from. That's where I'm gonna place the ball position. Second key step is to have 60% of your weight on the front foot. The third key step is to lead hard with the hands. You wanna create a lot of lag in the swing. You want those hands leading hard. Fourth key step is to make sure your upper body stays rotating because if you're leading hard with the hands and you have no upper body rotation, that club face is gonna be open causing you to hit it out to the right. And the fifth and final key is to have loosey-goosey noodle arms. Yes, we don't want tension in the forearms. We want a lot of speed because you need speed to hit a quality stinger. So light forearm grip, no tension in the forearms, noodle arms, just let them shake, grip the club, and then sting it. All that's left now is to send it. again so much Peter for having me on the channel today. Hope y'all are able to learn some things on how I hit a stinger. Hope some of these tips help you get out there and send some saucy stingers. Hope y'all enjoyed coming along and y'all until next time we'll see you when we see ya. So that is the basics of hitting a stinger shot but how can you make it even sexier? How can you really ramp it up? Now playing the shot is about creating good angles. Now what I mean by that is a normal sting type of shot. So the ball position is gonna be back, the weight is gonna be that little bit further forward. Some of Ferrari nearby. Now if you can find a little down slope, this is even better because what that does is it tilts you towards the target. So it tilts your center, it tilts your spine towards the target. Now if you think about this, you are gonna be playing most of your shots from a flat lie. So if you think about your spine in relation to a flat lie, now imagine it being tilted towards the target when you're on that little bit of a down slope. You need to try and make sure that you continue striking down the slope and not try and lean back to help the ball up in the air. If you can continue to move down the slope and strike down the slope, your angle of attack in relation to sea level is gonna be moving even <laughs> and then the backspin that you impart, there's not going to be loads of backspin because of the amount of loft that you're actually taking off the club. But that backspin will then help the ball rise up into the air and that's where you get the ball going downwards and upwards and then downwards. Now remember, it's a normal stinger type of shot, but then you adapt to the lie. Don't let yourself try and go back uphill. Experiment with different clubs, and remember, the more you strike down, generally, the path will move a little bit right, so you might need to be aiming a little bit further left down the slope as well. But this is up to you to experiment with, and play around with, and try and see if you can hit the sexiest shot in golf. Oh, man. 
good little pool of honey in the divot. That was so much fun. <laughs> I personally think it's a it's a good look. I'm not um, not really turning the heating on yet. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed that video. And the first thing that I want you to do is if you are new to Zach, please hop over to his YouTube channel, check him out and subscribe whilst you're over there. Really nice lad and a good sport for actually doing this cross Atlantic collaboration. And is this something that you'd like to see a little bit more of? Because obviously with the distance between creators, it's hard to get everyone in the same place. Would you like to see more of these videos where it's a cross collaboration, but with them doing part of video, me doing part of video, other people doing parts of videos? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And hopefully that has helped you hit that sexy shot in golf. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and like the video if you haven't already and get into those comments and let us know your favorite shot and if you can attempt to play this one as well. By the way, how amazing was that course that Zach was playing at in Hawaii? That is on his channel, so check that course vlog out as well. Right guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.